Hi, this is John Aberly with Aberly Enterprises. I want to share today a productivity tip for small businesses and entrepreneurs, and in this particular case, especially for coaches and consultants. Amazon has uh, given us a tool with their Kindle eBooks that makes doing things like research and capturing notes as well as capturing quotes to be used in social media or getting your notes um, and highlights out of the book for study purposes. So whatever reason you might have for wanting to get access to your uh, highlights and notes from a Kindle ebook, this is how you can do it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to your Kindle library and select the book that you want to get the notes out of. I'm going to use bestseller uh, Kindle Publishing by Gundy Gabriel uh, because it has a lot of tips in it that I'm going to want to be using uh, in the near future. And right now you can see that one of the pages that I've set up uh, to use in this demonstration. At the top of the page, you can see the library where you can go back and select a different book if you prefer. And the point that I want right now, and that is show notebook. When you click on show notebook, it brings up an option to either do flashcards or export. And these are highlights, and you can see it tells you whether they're yellow highlights, or in other cases, I've got uh, pink highlights and even some blue ones. So you can click on export here, and it will come up with some tips for you. And I've saved this particular note. This export is being used in an Aberly Enterprises article for a productivity tip, and you can read the rest on your own there. And then they've got a little tip down here that you can, uh, how you can use these notes when you export them, as well as being able to review the notes and highlights of all your books on read.amazon.com forward slash notebook. Uh, it gives you some statistics or facts here that I've got 562 highlights and nine notes in this particular book. And that's probably far in excess of what the average person will do, but I happen to like highlighting. Save as is the button you want to click on now. And this gives you a report here that this export will exceed the 15% limit set by the publisher by 14.99%. New notes that exceed the limit will not be exported. Uh, that's fine. I'm not concerned about that. The next part about this is you'll notice that it brings up the Save As screen. What I want to bring your attention to now is the local uh, and then uh, Amazon, then Kindle, then application up here is where this file will be saved if you do not change that. And in as much as that is an area for hidden files and hidden uh, folders, I recommend changing it, and I'm going to change it to desktop. You'll notice that it has a default here uh, name for the program uh, or the file that you're saving, and it already says Kindle Bestseller Publishing, write a bestseller in 30 days, and then Beginner Internet Marketing in parentheses, uh, series book. I'm going to take some of that out just to shorten this a little bit. And then it also appended notebook to the end of it. And I'm going to click on Save. And now it is saving this particular file for us uh, on the desktop. And I'm going to Pause this for just a moment so that I can take you to the desktop and get that file. Okay, you now should be seeing the uh, file explorer for 
my desktop folder. And down here is the Kindle bestseller publishing, write a bestseller in 30 days dash notebook that I just saved. And I'm going to click on that and um, bring it up actually in my default browser, which is um, Chrome. And here you can see that I've got notes and highlights for Kindle bestseller publishing, write a bestseller in 30 days. And, and then you can see by scrolling through, I'm going to draw your attention here to the fact that most of these highlights are yellow. This is a pink one, and you'll notice that there are very few pink ones. I will explain that later. And uh, what I can do now is I can just control A for copy all, and, or uh, highlighting all, and then control C for uh, copy. I paused the recording just long enough to bring in a blank Word doc, and I'm going to go control V uh, to paste the um, notes that I just highlighted. And that is how simple it is to uh, grab your notes and highlights from any Kindle book that uh, you've been using. I am using this in the uh, on a PC. I was not able to do this with my tablet, so it's a matter specific, a capability specific to the Kindle PC app. Um, and in as much as I do not have a Macintosh. I have no idea if it will work on a MacBook. But I hope that you find this tool very helpful. And um, by the way, the other thing that I will need to do is just um, save as. And I usually save my files first to the desktop. And then I can save Kindle uh, bestseller here, and uh, the name of the author, Gundy Gabriel. Okay, so I'm saving that now to my desktop, and then I can go retrieve it and do whatever I want with the notes, like organize them and, and uh, take advantage of the, her tips for the next book that I write and publish. Thank you very much. Have a great day and a great year.